my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this smoky eye look using this melt stack. So if you want to see how I created this eye look, stay tuned. This stack is absolutely beautiful. It has, um, this is the dark matter stack. So the black in it is called dark matter. We have blur, we have unseen, and we have enigma. Um, each of these colors blend extremely well. There's not a whole lot of excess fallout, so I did like that, although I did prep my, my cheeks with some powder beforehand. Um, I really like these, so I'm actually interested in seeing what other color combination Melt has. The other thing that I like is that they're put together with um, magnets. So they stay together very well. And on the opposite side of where it says melt, you have a nice little mirror. So I thought that was absolutely adorable. I had seen other people use the melt stack a long time ago and I put it on my to-do list or my to buy list and just kind of never got around to it. And now I'm kind of disappointed that I waited so long because these products are really well. Are really good. They blend well. Um, the pigmentation is lovely. They don't have a lot of fallout if you tap your brush. So maybe they do have fallout. Hmm. But um, the fallout I had gotten on this side was because I didn't tap my brush. I was all excited, went right in. So um, as long as you tap your brush off as far as the excess goes, I think you're going to be fine. Um, Again, I look forward to seeing what other color schemes they have with the Melt Cosmetics, and I'm hoping that they come out with some more because I'm very pleased with their, their color scheme and how great they go together, and um, not just in the pan, but actually on the eye. Okay, so yesterday I used the new Jeffree Star Manny collection on my highlighter and my lip, and I think I'm gonna do that again. And I also had used Melt Cosmetics for my eyes. Semi liked how my eyes turned out, but I'm gonna try it again, slightly different. So the Melt Cosmetics has these great little stacks and they're held together with um, magnets. And so we've got Enigma, We've got Unseen, we've got Blur, and we have Dark Matter. And I had done a smoky eye yesterday. Oh yeah, and a little mirror. So we're gonna try it again. Um, I think I was close to what I wanted to achieve, but I'm gonna make some changes today. Um, sometimes you just gotta keep playing till you get it the way you want it. The other thing that's fantastic is mirrors and cameras don't lie. So there's been times where I'm like, oh, I thought my makeup looks great. And then there's a picture. And in that picture, my makeup doesn't look so great. And yesterday was kind of one of those days. So um, anyways, I primed and I prepped my face already. So we're going to get into this with the blur. And I had used it all over. I'm gonna be using the same brush throughout this whole technique because I'm not really worried about um, needing strong colors to not uh, blend. That probably didn't make sense. How about some Unseen? Let's darken that crease up a little bit further. I'm going to take a tiny um, Define Crease brush with Enigma. And I'm not doing the whole crease. I'm just kind of doing kind of half and flaring it out a bit. I say half. I went in much further than half, but I did not go all the way down. That's what I had done yesterday. And I just couldn't get comfortable with the full look. Now we're going to use some dark matter. I love this dark matter, um, but I noticed I also screwed up along the lash line. So we're going to try to not do that today. How about that? 
So I'm gonna take the Enigma and I'm gonna pack this all over the eyelid, going down into the eyelash line, much better than I did yesterday. Take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend for a moment. And I'm gonna go back in with the Enigma. So I'm gonna take the color Unseen again. and just kind of touch up and blend out where we had softened the black. I'm also going to take a Morphe M562 brush with the Unseen, and that's gonna go on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the light and this is from Diamond Powder Winky Lux, Winky Lux Diamond Powder. Just taking a nice, this is a clean brush and I'm gonna go right up underneath the eyebrow and a bit still on the inner corner. We're gonna take the Makeup Geek Obsidian Taking a flat angled brush with da, 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 dark matter, I'm going to go along the lower lash line. I'm actually going to press the Enigma on the waterline. All right, we're gonna sweep off any excess fallout. And I'm gonna do um, the setting spray right now, since I've got a lot of dark. I wanna let that setting spray set in first. How about some eyeliner? I'm gonna use some e.l.f. And this is in charcoal. Now we'll go in with the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. And since it's Lash Intensity, you wanna say it just like that. Lash Intensity Mascara. Okay, so that's two coats of the Lash Intensity, and I'm gonna go with the Waterproof Glam Dolls, uh, or Glam and Doll by Catrice. And since my eyes have pretty much taken over in intensity, I'm not gonna do um, a really dark or really bold contour blush i'm not still sure about the lips yet i'm gonna use the blush called dallas from benefit max oral lip liner I am going to use the Jeffree Star Daddy. I 
eyebrows. I'm gonna use clear water resistant eyebrow gel and this is from The Brow Gal. Thank you so much for watching my channel today, creating this eye look using the Melt Stack. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave those below. I always get a kick out of reading the comments. Um, and comments, questions, concerns, anything that you have. So uh, please leave those below. And as always, it is up to you. So make it a beautiful day.